bring this shit. All right, brother, you're on. Let's roll it. Let's go. <laughs> For me, Rumble's a big part of like um, the drum and bass culture in New Zealand, and so it's got a certain amount of kudos I'm attached with it. So I was sort of thinking um, it'd be nice to be a part of that, and uh, it was just one of the goals. That as a DJ, I thought you know I should at least give it a shot and see how I do. I entered this year mainly because um, previous three years I got into the regionals, but never made it past the first round. So I had a bit of a point to prove, and so I thought I'd um, try and prepare a little bit better this year tried to feel a bit more relaxed and just pump it up and yeah, here I am in the finals. Yeah. Well, I entered Rumble in the jungle so I can get some experience and exposure out there and what better way to do it through uh, music you love mixing. I've entered a couple of years before and I've never actually made it into the regionals so I kind of wanted to just at least give it a good shot so I thought I'd give it another try and ended up doing pretty well. Obviously there's good exposure to, to everyone and I just want to show everyone what I'm about. I entered last year and then I didn't do as well as I thought I could do in the Wellington final so I thought I'd enter again this year and see if I can do a bit better than I did last year. I thought it'd be a bit of fun, it's always good to play in front of a crowd, get my name out there a little bit and see where it takes me basically. The biggest difference would be you're going out to actually show your technicalities. Because of the time frame you don't have the um, same opportunity to maybe have the progression because you're trying to do things in such a shorter time, so there's obviously going to be more impact mixing and people are going to be trying to push the boundaries a lot more than maybe what they would in their standard sets that they book for in a club. I find it a lot harder because you have to like compound what you try and do in quite a long span into a short span. Um, I also find practicing the same thing over and over gets quite irritating. Yeah, I try and take a little bit of a different approach, just try and have different options while I'm playing, but um, so you can kind of take it in different directions. I don't know, I'm trying not to take it really, really seriously. Just have a good time and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I prepared for the final by putting hours and hours and hours of work into, into mixing and getting everything the way I want it to be. To prepare for the final I've just been practicing heaps, so just not necessarily just a pre-planned set but like heaps of combos that I can just swap around depending on the vibe of the night. Just trying to suss out what sounds good with what and yeah going deaf over it, <laughs> just mixing over and over again. Yeah, it's been fun though. Get a whole lot of like stacks of tunes together and um, have some options, have some combos, have some stuff I want to do, um, some little tricks and things that hopefully people will remember and um, just generally trying to cater to the audience and, and the judges, mainly James there, because he's a picky bugger. <laughs> people come along tonight and check me out, I'd say you're going to hear good progression, tight mixing, um, but mainly a good flow eh? like I'm all about my flow. Maybe not as much impact mixing as other cats, but I'll definitely have flow and it will definitely have some funk involved there. Eh? People should expect my set to be a bit jump up and pretty uplifting with some jungle vibes and yeah, overall good feel to it. So I've learned a few things over a few years, so I'm um, trying some, some things hopefully no one else will try and um, just yeah, trying to um, be big impact, a um, few things that will be memorable, so hopefully we need to see it will be going nuts bananas. Just have a good time basically, I just, yeah, as I want to, I play a lot of party tunes, so I want to bring the party in space. Yeah. <laughs> The winner!
of the 2010 Rock the Winter Jungle is Tits McGee.